So today I'm going to be updating my terrain painting and I guess mixing video. I'm going to be going over the different methods and techniques that go into it. So obviously first you're going to need a terrain shader. For this specific uh, video I'm going to be using the terrain underscore CB underscore W underscore four layer which means four textures. And then two textures I think it means it's like the two lookup textures or something, or something, I don't know, but, and then PXM means uh, parallax. I'm not sure what SPM means, but this is the one I'm going to be using. You don't have to use this one, but so obviously you can, when you start off, you'll have just the texture, like there's no mixing whatsoever. And it looks really shit because you can see the obvious tiling. So to get it to properly, I guess, mix, you can either manually paint it like this, or you can use the lookup shader or texture and pretty much have it do it for you almost. So get to from here to here, what you're going to need to do is go to the object data properties, go to the color attributes. You're going to need two channels or two color attributes, one named color one and one named color two. On the first color one, what we're going to do, you're going to have it just like pink like this. And make sure the alpha channel is all white, or the alpha is set to like fully opaque or whatever. But then on the color 2 channel, this is where you're going to do your uh, texture blending normally. Like this, so you can change it to like turquoise or whatever. And paint it, do whatever. Change it to green, paint it, do whatever. But yeah, you get the idea. This is the normal way of doing it. But I'm going to show you a better way using the lookup sampler you see here yeah like this works in some cases but usually doesn't turn out that good but here what you can do is go to the this is all the same shader by the way you go here and go to your color one then if you go to the alpha channel of it you'll see that it's all black this makes it so that the lookup sampler is in effect pretty much so let's say for example I set it to all white to show you what it looks like without it and you'll see that it's not even like like blended at all so if we go back and change it to black again you can also add like small white pockets Add just a little more difference, see, just like that. And if we go to the color two channel, you'll see that I'm not even using it for the most part. It's just all green. I'll show you the shader setup I have. This is using the latest Solemns version. Um, I don't think it's part of a release yet, but it should be by the time this gets released. This video. So here you have your height samplers. You can just ignore these for the most part. You don't really need to worry about these for now. And you have your texture samplers, which is obviously the textures. I'm just going to separate these so it's easier to explain. Then you have your bump samplers, which is your normal maps. I think there's a lookup sampler in here somewhere. Here, right here. This is the lookup sampler that I was talking about. So essentially it's just a mask, if you are familiar with that term. And it's based off the UV map one. Oh, I should mention that you also need a second UV map for this to work. So here you'll see that I have the UV map zero and I also have UV map one. So if we go into UV editing, you'll see that the UV map just looks like this. Um, if we go here, you'll have the normal UV map to map the texture. And you'll have your lookup sampler texture, which you see scales it if i scale this all the way down it'll be really big spots go on and if we go back into the shader editor you'll see that yeah it's based off the uv map one and also additionally change the textures down here I'll say the what each one is for as well, the height map and whatnot. 
if that helps you. So yeah, I guess with that being said, I hope this helped and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for future videos.